Uh, you know, I'm curious. So let's say that you went back in time and, well, maybe not what went back in time, but let's say that you are an undergrad right now at this university. Yeah. What would you study and what problems would you work on? Well, I think um, I would choose as a general field of study. I would not, I'd probably not choose physics, I think. I would more likely choose um, experimental neuroscience or neuropsychology. Um, now, which problems I would work on, uh, I couldn't really say until I've got into it properly, <laughs> but, uh, but something to do with the, the way the brain operates, uh, the, th the sort of things that could go wrong with the operation of the, the brain. Um, I, I think it's both a, a fantastically intellectually challenging subject and also one which is pretty much direct human um, relevance. Um, unlike some of the physics I tend to work on. <laughs> uh, why, why the brain? Like, uh, well, it's um, the uh, as, uh, as far as we know, it's the most sophisticated um, kind of object which nature has developed. Um, it's uh, unclear to me whether the laws of physics um, and chemistry and so forth as we know them today are going to satisfactorily account for all the ways in which the brain works. My, uh, in fact, my instinct is they probably won't. That it probably will involve at some stage developing a um, some kind of new approach to physics and chemistry, but of course we don't know until we really get into it. That's, that, that, that's interesting that you wouldn't study uh, physics, for instance. Uh, I mean, even in your undergrad, you didn't study physics, you just studied the, the classics. Uh, that's correct. Right. Yes. Yeah, my Is, first undergrad was right. in classics, yes. Do you think that's better in terms of, like, not directly chasing what you want, but, like, getting the context more than then working on what you want to be working on while doing that? Well, I would have to say that at the time when I signed up for the classics degree, I had no idea that I was going to end up in physics. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, um, but I would also say that I have absolutely no, no regrets um, about spending that four years doing the classics degree, which, uh, as you probably know, is not, um, is not simply classical languages and literature, but also ancient history, uh, ancient right. and Greek and Roman and uh, philosophy. And the philosophy is pretty much what you would uh, study if you were majoring in philosophy, say, here at the University of Illinois. Um, uh, say, uh, had I gone directly into physics, in some sense I would have been four years further on in my career. I probably might have published more papers, I got more citations <laughs> and so forth. Um, but uh, that's of no great concern to me. I think what I got for out of the classics degree was uh, much worth much more than that. 